that population. So here we go. How are participants protected in research? So there's a lot of protection. So when you participate in clinical trial, these studies um, are usually vetted first. They're reviewed by the in institute review board, uh, which makes sure that their research is safe and people who take part in this research um, are protected. So all research with the human must be approved before it gets started. And this group is called Institute Review Board, uh, IRB, we call it. Next slide. The IRB reviews and make sure that the possible risk and benefits of research study have been carefully considered. What they actually do, they review to make sure that the risks are justifiable by anticipated benefits, if any, to the subjects or to the importance of the knowledge to be gained from this research and that there is a fair selection of making sure folks who need to be included with, through the lifespan are included, whether age, group, race, and ethnicity, and different population, and that the informed consent is adequate. So the RB will must go through, um, each RB must go through an approval process. There will be assured that the group meets all requirements for doing this kind of work. Next slide. Each RB have at least five members. The members are could be researchers, physicians, people from outside medical field, but it's, they have to have at least a member, a local member from the local community. Uh, ordinary person like us who doesn't know nothing, not physician or anything, but just need to understand the research from, from that level. Members of the RB, they are fully trained to make sure that they understand all the federal regulations laws and local laws uh, related to human research. Studies usually include diverse, they try to make sure they include diverse groups of people like Dr. Turner said, they need to participate to be able to know how the medication thing might, might work on them. Uh, they also must include children, women, uh, diverse minority groups in research, and they must be sensitive to the interest of the diverse population. Next slide. The RMB look at, at and review detailed written plan for each and every study. The research plan gives detail about the research. It tells the, how, why the research is important, why the participant being asked to participate. And this is called a protocol. So they make sure that it meets all the rules of FDA, uh, if it's an FDA um, study, uh, NIH study, all regulations are being met. They also check to make sure that everyone on the research team has the qualified training to do the research. Are they qualified to do this research? Uh, do they have the training that they need to do research? So that's what RB does. The possible research that people might face in the study are looked at very closely because they're all about human protecting, human participating, human uh, subjects participating in this research. Um, if the risks are acceptable, like I said, the risks are justifiable by anticipated benefits, if any, to the subject or to the importance of the knowledge to be gained from this research. They make sure the researchers have taken adequate steps to protect uh, participants. They also make sure uh, researchers reduce any risk as much as possible. In, and this include, of course, confidentiality, which is the data they're going to collect during the research and the privacy of the people participate in the clinical trial. Next slide. The consent form is another written document that carefully checked by the RB. They make sure that the consent form matches the written research. The consent form must tell people everything that they'll be asked to do. Why this study, why, what is the study? Why is the study important? Why is it being done? Why am I being asked to participate in the study? And how am I be protected? what will happen with the procedures, who do I need to call when I need and uh, have an emergency or I need more information. This is what goes in the informed consent. And the RB makes sure that all this is in there and their rights are protected as the participant in this clinical trial. Signing a consent form is only one step, but this gives you um, that you are agreeing to participate in the study. You've been given enough time to ask questions and you understand what's gonna be happening to you, procedures, how long each visit will take, how long you'll be in the study, procedures, risk, benefits, all that need, 
and you're given opportunity to ask enough questions and be able to say, I do understand and I'm ready to participate, then you, you could sign it. And there should not be any pressure and you should be allowed to drop out anytime you want in case you don't want to continue the study or after being around the study without any penalties on your healthcare. Next slide. So richest people is guided by three golden rules. The golden rules are that people be treated with dignity, respect, to do good and to be fair. Even in the face of the fast pacing research beat of COVID-19 and other diseases, Arabi will still make sure people are safe and all the rules and research are followed. 